Hey there. Thanks for coming out. We've got a bit of an infestation here at the storage facility. I thought it was just rodents, but there's something else in here. There's nests. They're everywhere. We'll try to take care of it ourselves, but we've escalated. Exterminators are our last hope. What is that here? Help us before. What is that? Hey, it's stop! You know where we look at me. You're a fierce warrior. You're a very lucky guy. Damn it, Wade! Is anybody else getting really sick and tired of these just cheap horror films being announced from things entering the public domain? Like, it's only happened twice and I'm already getting sick of it. What well, why is that our first thought to make some cheap horror film on a shoestring budget to, for the shock value? Because here's the thing about shock value, is that it really only works once. With Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Guts, you can probably find old tweets of mine where I thought it was hilarious. But then the film came out about eight months later, and by that point we'd had eight months for the shock to wear off. I didn't even go and see it, because it was cheap, it was badly made, I knew it was going to be shit. And... A, the general consensus from people who've seen the film is that yeah the film was pretty shit like anyone could have seen that coming why is that our go-to instinct when something enters the public domain there's an opportunity here to make something satirical something intelligently written and entertaining at the same time but our first thought is always how can we turn this into a cheap horror film i, I don't get it i really don't understand the appeal i really don't understand why people are like this. I mean, it's not even like we've got the one film coming out. We've got two horror films coming out. One video game that's a horror film coming out. And it's become the most lazy, unoriginal idea in existence. I mean, I've got the BBC article here. I'll link that to this in the description below. But you can see here, um, the creator of this film said, in order to flip the coin, you have to come up with something that's the polar opposite of what's, what already exists. He's speaking like this is a novel idea. This isn't a novel idea. And you know what? To be honest, it wasn't even a novel idea when Winnie the Pooh did it. This is the Banana Splits film. A film from 2019. Banana Splits isn't even in the public domain. They had to get the permission from the creators of the Banana Splits to make this film. And you know what? While it is a cheap horror film of a child's property, it's actually pretty good. I bought this thinking it was going to be really crap, but it would be a fun hour and a half to waste but you know what i actually ended up enjoying this because the animatronics in the film look pretty good you can't really see from the back of the box cover but they don't look cheap they do look pretty good there's some thought into that's gone into the actual ways that they kill people and when this came out it wasn't an overdone idea i still enjoyed this film because i think there was actually actual thought a budget and some effort put into this film so this proves that it can work as an idea. But why is it always our go-to? Why is it always our go-to whenever something enters the public domain? It happened with Winnie the Pooh. It happened with Mickey Mouse. But when did this become our go-to? There's so many other ideas that could have come up with. A Steamboat Willie entering the public domain. Imagine a film where Mickey Mouse, as Steamboat Willie, of course, gets fired by Disney. And he finds out and realizes that he was just a commodity for them to make money. And then he tries to find out where his place is in the world instead. It can still be funny. It doesn't have to be a serious film. It could be a hilarious film. But it would also be a satirical take on corporate America. That would have some creativity behind it. That would have some effort behind it. Instead, we're treated to someone in a rubber mask pretending to be Mickey Mouse. Killing people in the most hilariously bad ways possible. When did this become our go-to? And not only is this our go-to, but obviously it's such an overdone idea, such an easy, lazy concept, that we're getting two films and a video game based on this. I can't be the only person who finds this the most frustrating thing known to man. There are so many other ideas that we could, we could be coming up with. We are two days into 2024. Steamboat Willie has been in the public domain for... Two days. Not even two days yet. And already this is what we're greeted to. 
if this is going to happen every single time, then I say just change copyright law and make it so that nothing ever enters the public domain. Because I can't deal with this every single time something happens, something falls into the public domain. And you've got idiots like this right winger on Twitter, this crypto bro, who uh, decided to make an NFT protesting Disney's wokeness. You know, the woke communist um, capitalist, one of the biggest global companies in the world. Um, I wanted to protest all of that with an NFT. And he used the wrong Mickey Mouse. He used the modern Mickey Mouse, which is not in the public domain. And even debunked his own NFT by saying, oh, everyone's saying I'm, I shouldn't be allowed to do this because, but Steamboat Willie is in the public domain. Yeah, Steamboat Willie is. That specific design is in the public domain. Like these, these, these copyright laws are so, so stringent that these days you can use Winnie the Pooh without a red t-shirt because that's in the public domain, but not Winnie the Pooh with a red t-shirt because that isn't in the public domain. That's how stringent these are. And the difference between modern Mickey Mouse and Steamboat Willie are, is so much wider than just a red t-shirt that idiots like this are going to jump on it. And to be honest, I think that's hilarious. I mean, this guy's great, great grandkids are still going to be owing Disney money with the amount of money that Disney are going to demand from this guy for selling these NFTs. Um, that's hilarious, by the way. But I'm just sick and tired of these horror films just continually being pumped out and pumped out on a shoestring budget and people just thinking that they're doing something creative and unique and different and shocking when we've only seen it once before and it's already feeling old. Let's have a bit more creativity, please. Let's have a bit more thought behind what we're, what we're putting out there. Art, I get, is subjective, but I can't... I dare you to find one person who thinks that this is either a good idea, a smart idea, or a novel idea, because I guarantee you, you're not going to find anyone. And if you do find those people, do not introduce them to me, because I'm not going to be able to get on. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be getting on with these people. But... That's been me musing and rambling about this. Drop a comment in the comment section below and tell me if you are just as frustrated as me already that this is happening again with Steamboat Willie. Um, yeah, I saw, saw people saying with the Winnie the Pooh thing that uh, the reason why they had a problem with that is because this is people's childhood and we shouldn't ruin people's childhood. Uh, fuck that. That's not the argument I'm making. You know, the, the idea of satirizing Mickey Mouse and having a more cynical take on corporate America is technically destroying people's childhoods by turning Mickey Mouse into this commodity that he actually is and satirizing that is technically still destroying people's childhoods so that's not the argument I'm making here it's just it's lazy there is no effort there and I really really think that we are better than this I get it art subjective but we just have higher standards, please. I know people are going to say, oh, you're ruining the fun. I don't get the fun here. I just don't. And if it just takes me, just a regular idiot, rambling at a camera to take the piss out of this, then I'm going to. So drop a comment in the comment section below. Tell me just if you're just as annoyed as me about all of this. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All of my streams over on Twitch get permanently archived over here. And I also make pre-recorded original content such as this one whenever the inspiration strikes. Thank you for watching.